I'm Eustace Corrigan, Managing Director in the Memphis office of CBiz MHM. Today, I would like to talk to you about the final regulations that govern the tax treatment of expenses incurred for acquiring, maintaining, repairing, and replacing tangible property. The IRS released long-awaited final tangible property regulations on September 13, 2013. The effective date of the new rules is January 1, 2014, but at the taxpayer's discretion, these rules may be followed retroactively back to the beginning of 2012. The new rules are complex and compliance will challenge virtually every business that owns tangible property. The IRS created these new rules to provide clearer guidelines for how to treat repairs and improvements of businesses' tangible property, that is equipment, buildings, etc., for tax purposes. The IRS's intent is to resolve conflicts with taxpayers over which expenditures related to tangible property or direct write-offs versus those that must be capitalized and depreciated. The rules provide bright line tests and safe harbors intended to minimize confusion taxpayers have had over the years. However, there still might be some confusion in instances, for example, where a repair to tangible property that was treated as an immediate expense in the past is now required to be capitalized and depreciated over a period of time and vice versa. On the positive side, there could be potential write-off opportunities or tax savings for businesses under these rules. Business owners may be able to expense greater amounts for certain repairs, materials, and supplies than they had in the past. For instance, some previously capitalized items may now be considered repairs and thus deductible. Complying with the new rules in order to see these tax savings opportunities will be burdensome. Most businesses will have to modify internal processes that will require accounting method changes and in order to take advantage of the book tax conformity opportunity for asset expensing, audited companies may need to have a capitalization policy in place by January 1st, 2014. It does not matter what form a business operates under, a C corporation, an S corporation, a partnership, an LLC, a sole proprietorship, or a rental property with a Schedule E these new rules and requirements apply. It goes without saying that these new rules are extremely complicated. The unique circumstances of each business will need to be analyzed to determine the best accounting methods and elections that will maximize tax savings. Here are six questions to determine whether the new rules have application to your company or if early adoption of these rules may be beneficial. One, have you replaced a major component of your building or other tangible property? Two. Are you in any of the following industries? Manufacturing, hospitality, commercial real estate, retail, high tech, transportation, logistics. Three, do you have any recently completed renovation or expansion projects to your tangible property, real or personal? Four, do you acquire many small dollar fixed assets on an annual basis? Five, do you accumulate large expenditures to maintain equipment? Six, do you incur large annual costs for materials and supplies? If you answered yes to any of these questions, the new tangible property rules will likely require changes in your tax accounting practices, but they also may create some tax planning opportunities. If you have any further questions on the new tangible property regulations, please feel free to contact me.